Pawan Kalyan, the leader of Janasena Party, has begun a significant political tour in Andhra Pradesh amid discussions of early elections. Starting from Katipudi village, the tour will cover 11 constituencies in East and West Godavari districts accompanied by grand celebrations. The tour features a unique vehicle called Varahi resembling an army vehicle in vibrant green color representing goddess Shakti. This aligns with Pawan Kalyan's recent association with the BJP. Pawan Kalyan, now a former actor turned politician, has performed elaborate rituals seeking divine blessings to fulfill his aspiration of becoming the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh. A two-day yagya was performed with five fire kundams and Pawan actively participated in rituals like cow puja and sacred bathing. He wore white robes during the concluding ceremony. The rituals concluded with blessings from the priests. Pawan Kalyan offered prayers to Varahi by breaking pumpkins and performed arati and pranam to the sacred vehicle. The entire sequence had an energetic and captivating atmosphere resembling a leaked scene from a blockbuster film. According to a follower of Pawan Kalyan, these rituals aim to improve obstacles on his path to political success. According to a follower of Pawan Kalyan, these rituals aim to remove obstacles in his path to political success. Previously, Pawan did not follow the tradition of conducting pujas before his tours or book launches. During a public meeting atop Varahi, Pawan expressed his willingness to accept the role of chief minister if offered, promising a corruption-free government. Pawan emphasized that nothing could stop him from entering the assembly this time and urged the people to give him a chance to govern the state. His followers anticipate significant support from the BJP in the 2024 elections. Pawan, belonging to the Kapoor caste, initially aimed at combat corruption and divisive politics. Despite distancing himself from caste, his Kapu identity continues to influence him. He idolizes Sheikh Vera and previously led the youth wing of his brother's party, Prajarajyam. Supported by the influential Kapu caste, the brother's star power has expected to bring political success, but they faced disappointment in the 2009 elections with only 18 seats out of 275. Chiranjeevi, Pawan's brother, also lost in one of the contested constituencies. The combination of caste, glamour and social justice ideals did not resonate with voters. Chiranjeevi later merged the party with Congress while Pawan formed Janasena to pursue political reforms. During the state's bifurcation in 2014, Pawan aligned with TDP and BJP instead of Congress. In 2014, Pawan campaigned for the TDP and BJP alliance which formed the government in Andhra Pradesh. However, within two years, he became disillusionized with the Modi government, leading to an extreme anti-Modi stance. He wrongly believed that advocating for the southern cause would make him a champion and even considered separation. The 2019 elections were disastrous for him as he lost both seats and his party had only one MLA who later defected. Realizing the importance of Modi's leadership and the Saffron Wave, he abandoned his reformist aspirations and embraced BJP. The BJP Janasena Alliance was formed in January 2020, aiming to become a strong alternative in Andhra Pradesh. Speculation arises about a possible future merger with BJP, unlike his brother's choice of Congress in 2010. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.